हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू माय न्यू जेंशी इंपैक्ट वीडियो गाइस फ्रॉम द टाइटल हम थंबनेल यू ऑलरेडी नो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द क्ली द वेरी ओल्ड कैरेक्टर द फर्स्ट टीएलसी कैरेक्टर द क्ली वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द क्ली एवरीथिंग अबाउट द क्ली द कॉन्स्टेलेशंस द वेपन द आर्टिफैक्ट द टीम्स द एवरीथिंग रिलेटेड टू द क्ली सो स्टे ट्यून टिल द एंड गाइस दिस वीडियो इज गोना बी the ultimate guide to build your kli starting off with the basics kli is a 5 star pyro vision character and kli uses catless as the weapon kli uh kli uh, has been released uh, since uh, it's the game was released kli was the first dlc character the first exclusive banner character and we came a very long time so The question is still the Klee is reliable in the game or not so we're going to find out in this video talking about the build talking about the teams as can we still use Klee in 2023 after so much happened in Genshin Impact Okay starting up the uh, up with the gameplay Klee uh, as being a catless user performs normal attacks pyro normal attacks perform pyro charge attack and then in elemental skill kill just summons some mines these mines if enemy hits these mines they'll deal a pyro damage and in ultimate also it's kind of a same same thing not exactly the same thing but similar things so that that's how kli only deals pyro damage everything is related to pyro coming to the build Kli is built on the basis of purely attack. Everything here is multiplied on the basis of Kli's maximum attack and the elemental damage. The higher the Kli having the pyro damage bonus, the higher Kli having the attack percentage. Kli, the higher will Kli gonna deal the damage on the field. And Kli is a active on field, active on field DPS character. So if you wanna deal with the damage with the Kli. doesn't matter if with the elemental burst elemental scale or with the normal attack your kli has to be active on the field okay so let's just quickly start off with the artifacts first let's go into the artifact there is a three artifact set that you can give to your kli first is the crimson witch crimson witch is the oldest artifact in the game for the pyro characters and yes you can use this artifact on the kli the second artifact is going to be the Shiminawa. Yes, ma ma maximum. Uh, uh, there is so much go gonna have you like you guys gonna have a debate on this, but in my opinion, Shiminawa four piece is also gonna be very very good for Kli. The third and the last artifact in my opinion that's gonna be very good on Kli is the Wanderer troops. So these three artifacts that you can use on Kli and Kli will gonna deal a very good amount of damage. in feather uh, just go for the attack you have already have no other option in uh, flower there's hp in feather there's going to be attack in sense go for the attack percentage nothing else in goblet just go for the pyro damage bonus nothing else and here in circlet either you're going for the crit rate or you're going for the crit damage according to your crit ratio in the substrat we are finding the attack percent uh, we are finding the crit rate crit damage attack percentage and the elemental mastery the other thing if you want to find you can find the energy recharge the hp and the defense is just useless for kli the main focus is going to be the crit rate crit damage then attack percentage and then the last is the elemental mastery why i am saying elemental mastery again and again because kli will going to deal some elemental reaction damage that's got that's where you can deal high damage with kli because raw pyro damage of the kli is not that very high if you want to deal only the raw damage with your kli raw pyro damage then your kli the not going to deal a very good amount of high damage so in that case either you have to deal the melt damage or the vaporize damage and for that you need some kind of elemental mastery here my kli is not built yet i'll show you my well built kli with the all three artifacts four piece artifacts i just told you about crimson witch of flames uh, shiminawa and the wanderer troops 
in the weapon guys we have like many many options okay we have many options in the weapon there's literally very many options because Klee is a three year old character so yes there's a lot of lot of weapons in the game that you can give to your Klee I don't know about the signature weapon the five star signature weapon yes but a four star signature weapon that came a long time uh, before in the game that's the dodo coattails dodo coattail is a event exclusive weapon uh, if you don't have you if you don't own this weapon right now in the game you're never gonna own this weapon in the future because it's one of the event exclusive weapon so it's a dodo coattails weapon it gives you very high base attacks and subtracts lots of base uh, lots of attacks and in Refinement gives you normal attack hits on opponent increase charge attack damage by 32% for 6 seconds charge attack hits on opponent increases attacks by 16% so this is this is very huge and this is the perfect perfect weapon that matches the uh, Klee game Klee kit Klee gameplay kit the other weapons are in the game of course there is going to be the Witset. Witset is the super weapon that you can give to your Klee then there is there are many weapons in the game that you can give to your Klee starting up with the lost spread to the sacred wings this is one of my favorite weapon and this is this is you can say this is one of the signature weapon the five shot signature weapon for Klee Klee because when the Klee came this weapons also came with the Klee you know Klee banner otherwise there's a loss of weapon in the game that you can use and i'm gonna tell you every weapon the four stars for four star signature weapon for the Klee is the dodo kete dodo coattails and the five star signature weapon for the Klee is the skyward atlas skyward atlas in base attack gives you 674 base attack in attack subtract gives you 30 33.1 percent and in the abilities gives you elemental damage bonus and if you normal attack hits the opponent it deals 160 uh, percent attack as a damage so it matches the uh, Klee's kit so skyward atlas is a five star signature weapon for Klee and the doroko tails is the four star signature weapon for the Klee but in my opinion lost player to the sacred winds is better if you compare to the skyward atlas but as I told you, attack is the only focus here when you're fo uh, building your Klee because everything is just scaled on elemental damage bonus and the attack percentage. There are many weapons, uh, other many weapons, uh, five star weapons in the game that you can give to your Klee. Uh, I just list all the weapons. One is the Skyward Atlas, second is the Saw Lost Pair, Sacred, two the Sacred wins <laughs> then third is the kagura verity kagura verity is uh, miko's signature weapon that you can use on Klee. it gives you crit damage 66.2 percent crit damage and also gives you elemental damage bonus in the refinement ability then there is a uh, skarama signature weapon there's the tule tula remembrance there's you can also give that weapon to your Klee. So there's uh, four weapons, I guess. Yes, the Skyward Atlas, the Lost Pair of the Sacred Wings, the Kagura Verity, and the Tulla Tul Tulle Tulla Remembrance. Four five star weapon. Now let's talk about the four stars weapon. In the four stars weapon, there is not many options. First is the the Witset. Witset is going to be the perfect option. Then is the Dodo Kale, Dodo Coattails if you own this weapon. Then there is going to be one of this weapon because this weapon gives a lots of tons of attack. Then you can use the Battle Pass weapon and the Shop Black Cliff weapon. Then there is a last weapon that you can use on the on Klee that's going to be the Wandering Even Star. Wandering Even Star is one of my favorite weapon in the game and you can also use that weapon on Klee. Uh, it gives you 500 and base attack gives you 165 elemental mastery and it also gives you more elemental mastery. Uh, uh, it gives you attack bonus uh, on the basis of how much higher elemental mastery you have. So it's basically a very good weapon because also yes you're clearly gonna deal the vaporize and the melted damage 
Now let's talk about the constellations of the Cleta. Constellation of the Cle is not that good. If you read all the constellations, uh, they are not that good. They are not that worth of you know taking. Uh, the maximum amount of damage a Cle is gonna deal. Cle is gonna deal in the normal attacks by performing normal attacks and the charge attacks, especially the charge attacks. So when you are building Cle, the important things to keep in mind: first, focus on the attack percentage. Second, focus on the, your crit ratio. third focus on increasing the normal attack and the charge attack damages yes increasing your normal attack and charge attack damages because that's where cle is going to deal the maximum damage by performing the normal attacks and the charge attacks so if you want to go for the constellation i suggest you don't waste your wishes on the constellations because constellations are good but not that worth to spend your wishes on the constellations so now let's talk about the teams and we'll see all the artifacts weapons in the actions okay guys so now let's just talk about the teams uh cle teams so the top two teams are going to uh, they're going to be mainly two teams one is going to be the vaporized team and second is going to be the bell team so in the vaporized team the most important water characters are going to be the shinku or and the yelin and then you can add a character here you, is the you want me on your team banet so either you have to choose from one uh, from the, one of these either the shinku or the yelin if you have the yelin so go for the yelin If you have both, so I suggest you to go with the Yelin because Yelin is just better. And if you have Shinkyu, so you can go with Shinkyu. Either it's your choice. If you want to pick the Shinkyu or Ye Yelin, which whichever suits you better. So in the Vaporized team, one character is going to be the uh, one from one of these. So for now, I am picking the Yelin, and or I am just replacing Shinkyu with the better option here. So what's the better option here? you can either add a venti here or you can add a kazua here why venti right. why kazua let's head off so kazua gives you the elemental damage bonus so you the kazua will buff the pyro and the hydro elemental and elemental damage and kazua also helps to you know group up the uh, group up the enemy so uh, kazua for that same thing goes with the venti if you don't have kazua or venti you can use sucrose here so sucrose is going to be the one of the options so one team is going to be like this cle kazua venti or sucrose from one of these banet and from yelin or shinkyu so one team is going to be like this the next team is basically a mel team and guys there is a one more character in the game that's a thoma uh, you can you also use thoma with the cle like character where uh, the character deals the damage in the normal and charge attack because if you have thoma c6 the sixth constellation of thoma just uh, increases uh, the active character normal attacks and charge attack damages so if you have c6 thoma so you can also use c6 thoma with Kili and uh, this also going to be same with Shangling. If you have C6 Shangling, you can also use C6 Shangling with Kili because C6 Shangling increases the pyro damage. Okay, in the Mel team, just replace Bennett with the uh, Diona here. So That these begins. three, these three is going to be fixed. You can replace Kazua with, of course, the Venti or the Sucrose here. Uh, otherwise the dion is going to be fixed now here you can use two different characters one is going to be the ganyu for what are my orders all time uh, cry application or you can use rosaria here where's my rosaria you can hear make sure add rosaria up. here so rose either you will you are going to use the rosaria here for cry application or you are go going to use the ganyu here uh, else the team remains the same what are my orders So guys, these are the teams with, uh, you know, Cle, and definitely you can uh, replace Bennett with a proper shield like Zhongli if you want. If you want more protection rather than the buff or the healing, you can definitely replace Bennett with, uh, you know, Zhongli, and also you can replace Ben uh, Zhongli here with Diona if you want more protection. Otherwise, Diona's shield is also good and you know provides healing and also the elemental mastery. and you can also hit the cryo resonance here uh, why i'm suggesting the banet in the vaporize team because uh, there you can hit the pyro resonance and can gain more attack and banet will provide more attack also so these are going to be the team for the cle one 
another team is there i don't know it's good or bad but yes it's exists you, it's a full pyro team, team where you use all full raw pyro where you deal all full pyro damage yes, Klee, Bannett, and Shangli, all pyro characters. You can also hit the pyro resonance here and Kazua here for the elemental buff. And definitely you can replace Kazua with Venti or Sucrose if you want. So these are going to be the team for the Klee, guys. Okay, guys. The, the real question is the whether Klee is still worth in 2023 or not. So, huh. so the thing is, the Klee damage is high. It's high. And. Klee is very fun to play. If you play with Klee, Klee is very very fun to play. But the problem is the constellations are not that good, and he, and the working of whole Klee uh, Klee kit is fun but not that effective. You have to work very hard on the artifact to get the maximum amount of the uh, you know uh, ratios here. Then you have to you know give a proper five star weapon here. The artifacts has to be very very good. You must have like 2300 or 2400 attack here without Bannet. Then you have to have here like very high crit ratio with proper energy recharge like 150 minimum energy recharge with minimum of 100 or 150 elemental mastery to deal amazing damage. That's a lots of lots of hard work and lots of time to build your Klee. So if you want a fun character uh, Besides the fact that Klee needs time to build and not that effective on the field in 2023, Klee is super fun. The whole gameplay and the kit of Klee is super, super fun. But uh, if you really, uh, you know, I'm just talking here about the free F2P players and uh, those players who uh, don't have the enough time to play this game or you don't have enough money or wishes to spend on the wishes or the constellations uh, guys in my opinion you can get clear if you want a fun character to explore way to do domains and just explore the you know map and have to have fun with Klee is super fun. Playing with Klee is one of my favorite thing because Klee is super super fun, super fun. But in terms of the dealing damage compared to other pyro characters that are available in the game, even if you compare with the Yoimiya, Hu Tao, they are better. They are simply better. If you compare uh, Klee with Hu Tao or Yoimiya, they are better. Klee has Klee is not that good if you compare with these characters. Joey Mia, even the Deluxe is better than the Klee in terms of dealing the damages. And Huta and Yoi Mia is just exceptional. Huta is just exceptional. You can't, you can, there is no comparison between the Klee and the Huta in terms of the damage percentage. So if you are looking for a good DPS character that deals very high pyro damage or a vaporize or melt damage Klee is not that character yes Klee deals high damage but if you compare it with another pyro characters uh, Klee falls uh, very below so if you want a very fun to play character you can get and have fun with Klee but uh, if you want a pure damage dealing character so you want to clear the hardest level in the game like uh, these parallel bears or the events that comes with the highest difficulty I don't think Klee is uh, one of those options. I hope I covered everything thing related to Klee in this video uh, the only part that I haven't covered is the weapon comparison and the artifacts comparison for that I have to create a different video because uh, if I covered those things in this video this video is gonna be very very long I'll make another video where I compare different weapons on Klee and different artifacts on a Klee and also make a video with uh, uh, with the you working of Klee with the dendro element so that's it for the, this video guys so I hope good. you enjoy the video and if I said something wrong in this video you can uh, correct me in the comment no problem and if you have any question related to Klee or any generation character you can comment below like guys like this video if you like it subscribe my channel and we'll meet in the next video till then bye bye take care